Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call gameplay video. Today I'm going to be walking you through the Sir Bella's quest, or the way you get your first augmentation gem in this game. You can do this quest starting at level 125, so as soon as you hit that level, I do recommend trying to get someone to help you run this quest, um, or maybe running it yourself if you can, so I'm summoning... This is the uh, level 125 Eater's Dungeon, uh, Insatiable Vault, I believe. Yeah, Insatiable Vault. So I'm just going to be doing this quest with actually two alternate characters. So I'm going to run through and then kind of clear the way. And then I'll bring down my, you know, like my Tinker and uh, another character that I'm trying to level up. Uh, because it is good to get these as quick as you can. So the first step of this quest is to go to the insatiable vault it has to be this eater uh dungeon and not any of the other ones so let me pull up my dungeon map so you can kind of see as i go so that was the drop we're gonna go either way it doesn't really matter down the ramp into this first uh kind of square room This dungeon is mostly linear, except for at a couple of points. So here you have a choice, and what we're gonna wanna do is ignore this down straight ahead and go around and straight down this way. I'm trying to get as many of them at, together as I can when I fight so that I can just rip them to death because it's really effective. <laughs> or just wait for my summon to be, uh, to be active. So these guys do drop um, decent loot. They can drop body parts, which is kind of funny that you can turn in for experience. Um, and they do drop uh, ancient either Empyrean or Philatica trinkets. I'm not sure which. So after you get through that hallway, you're going to end up in this room with a giant pit at the bottom. Now this is the most dangerous part if you are a lower level doing this. You know, if you're closer to level 125, getting your first couple of all gems. Um, but basically the only thing to do is jump down. If you're a major and archer, you can try to like pick them off from above if you're a lower level, but it's pretty fun to just jump down, start throwing rings at all these guys. And this does stay cleared for a decent amount of time. I'm not gonna, I don't need to like rush through with my alts. Um, you know, I'll do the lower level one first and then the higher level one. So from that pit, there's four directions you can go. You can take any of the directions, it doesn't really matter. When you get around these couple of bends, you're gonna go down, is really the only thing you need to be trying to do is go down. Again, you have two choices, either one. It's pretty, uh, like symmetrical but at the end there's going to be two areas divided by a surface portal and you can't like get around the surface portal to get to the other area so if you're doing what i'm doing bringing an alt down and you're trying to clear the way down you kind of need to take or remember which directions you went at the splits because that's what will be clear versus the other way which will still have monsters so just something to think about. All right, down another pit. We're pretty close to the end here. What I like to do when I'm clearing anyway is run straight to this center point. It's where almost all of the eaters that are down here can get to. And then I can clear from here. We're actually still not at the spot where the jaw. I mean, we are, but th these ones don't drop it. So the jaw is actually dropped by any of the ones that are in these little alcoves. And you can see from the dungeon map, actually, there's four little spots where they'll uh, potentially spawn. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill this guy. Oh, this corpse landed in somewhere else. There's two jaws. One is the one we want for this quest, and one can be turned in for experience. 
once we're done with that, we're gonna go to Fia and Outpost. So I'm gonna get my alts through and then we'll meet you in Fia and Outpost. So we're in Fion Outpost, heading over to Fion Relyun, and you're gonna hand him your Insatiable Eater Jaw. The upper Insatiable Eater Jaw is just a turn in for experience and a couple of MMDs. I think they added a second jaw at one point so you didn't have to choose which one to turn in. Uh, if you have a mule tied to the Augmentation Realm, they can only summon the portal after they've turned in the Eater Jaw. So you have to be flagged for this dungeon. It's kind of can be a pain for some people. So I'm gonna get my alternate character set up in, um, or at least my one alternate character set up to go into the augmentation realm because it's a no log dungeon. Uh, so I can't just like log them all there. And then I'm gonna show you the way to do it without a portal tie. To get there, we're gonna go back to town network And then in the Annex Wing, we're just going to go to East Watch. And we're going to run to the blockade and then up the mountain to the Augmentation Realm. So the Augmentation Realm is broken down into three different levels. There's the upper, the lower, and the main. Um, so you kind of have to progress through the first two to get to the last one. And the tie that you get on a mule or on your main character or wherever is for the last dungeon. And it's very close to the boss, which it's it's really convenient to do this if once you get a portal tie or have a portal bot or however you do it um, but I thought it would be worthwhile just to show you you know kind of the long way of doing it and uh, so you can appreciate how good the portal tie is <laughs> all right this is a buyer's lab up here that's another good quest for like a level 90 pretty cool I don't know what this is supposed to be but it's pretty cool All right, here's the blockade. We're gonna run through the blockade. And then we're gonna make a right because you can't just run right up this cliff here. You have to, at least I haven't found a way. I don't use um, the plugin that shows the uh, mountains that you can run up. There's just so many guys here on the emulator. I don't know if this is right to retail. I think it's a little over spawned. But that's where we're going. We're gonna run just basically around to the east of this and then up. The, uh, the Deaths of Lore dungeon is actually pretty close to here, in the same area. Yeah, so we can probably start trying to figure our way up this. Jump the gun a little bit. I don't know why when they were doing the design of this game, they didn't like, you know, make the cliff face that you can't go up like a slightly different color or I don't know, something to visually indicate that you can or can't walk on stuff. Probably would be, would have been helpful. <laughs> I mean, I guess in 1999, they didn't have that capability or they just chose not to do it, but anyway. 
All right, so you're basically going to make your way up this cliff. The augmentation realm is at the top. Yeah, and like again, like in retail, there were no guys up here, as far as I remember. Anyway, so we're going to go into the augmentation realm upper level. Um, this dungeon... It's pretty easy to navigate. So the, at the beginning, you're going to want to make a right. That split to the left is a dead end. And then work your way basically north east through here. This series. And then there's only one path. It's just like a bunch of convoluted areas. Again, this is a split, but it doesn't matter which way you go. Still just generally working your way north. And then when you get to about here, you're going to turn east. Down into this big room, you're going to make a right. And then there's going to be some fire over a bridge, which is pretty cool. Straight through this, some tiny magma golems, small magma golems. I don't know what the lore of this quest is. I think it's supposed to be like a dream world or something, basically. I kind of just made that up. I have to look it up. Uh, and then from this four-way split, we're going to go south. Up this big ramp, then back down into the last hallway, and then to the Augmentation Realm lower level. From here, this is just a loop. I'm gonna head north. I think this one's pretty linear in comparison. At this four-way, you're gonna want to jump down any of these little side passages and then head south out of that area you're going to get to this tall structure open the door jump down into the pit not much of a pit i guess one level down <laughs> Keep going, this is all linear from here. Up the steps. Cross the bridge. And then from here, this is all linear. There's no, uh, no other choices to make, which is nice. So if we're having three dungeons to go through, it's not that complicated. Um, pretty easy to run through. If you're level 125 trying to do this, you might get beat up by the eaters. Um, but I, you know, just bring someone with you who can help you clear it. And just go slower. I mean, that's really all it comes down to. Alright, so this is the little bit of a complicated portion. So there's a ton of portals at the end of this dungeon. Um. And the one that you want to take, which I should have noted this before, but if you look at the map for the main level uh, on the wiki, you can basically see that all of the portals come out in different locations. And the one that you want is the one that drops you at number three. Okay, so that's... Um, if you're coming out of this door, the third one is going to be to your left. So it's numbered this way, one, two, three. And there's nothing like on the portals to identify them that way, but you just kind of have to count them off. And I know that I got it right because my alt is standing at the drop. So this is where you would come out if you just got a tie from somebody. So you can see it would save a lot of time, but 
it's not that big of a deal to run through the whole thing. So you're gonna jump down, straight down into this pit. A lot of pits on this one. There's gonna be some regular Viamontians. You're gonna wanna, at least I'm gonna wanna clear them so my ult doesn't die. They're pretty weak, I mean, compared to the boss and everything. All right, so the strategy that I like to do, especially when I have other characters with me, if I'm bringing a friend or a vassal or whatever, is come up these steps, clear these guys. on my item and there was a big wall of text and I was like, oh no, something happened. But it was just one of the plugins. All right, so I would have anybody that you're here carrying, uh, any vassals or friends, wait here. It's gonna be safe, as safe as it can be. The boss is just down this hallway. So whoever is leading the quest can pull Sir Bella's the boss. and then quickly run back and get him caught. Oh, he followed me up. So you're not gonna wanna do that, but the ideal thing to do would be to get, get him here. And then when he's distracted by something else, you run up the steps and now uh, everybody else can just fight him from up here. So a little bit of a hiccup on that one, but uh, that's the general strategy. And then you just kill the boss. Peace. You're gonna grab a blank augmentation gem and now you can get the augmentation of your choice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Bye.